<clears throat> All right, welcome everyone, and thanks for joining me in this live stream here. So we just got the announcement on the latest inflation report, and it's coming in hot. Well, as you probably noticed by the title, even though it sounds like, but wait, how could this actually be a good thing? So this has been a very highly anticipated report and uh, you saw my live stream a couple days ago talking about it as well and I wanted to jump on here right away. Now, this announcement just came out moments ago. Generally, I don't do live streams uh, this early on in the morning, but I wanted to jump on here right away and talk about it, which by the way, um, <laughs> I, I will give you all the details. I'll try to explain it all. And if you want me to come back and follow up in a separate video, uh, let me know. I can certainly do that for you. Um, which by the way, I'm going to discuss all the details here in this um, you know, part right now. And then um, I will jump into the chat box. So if you are joining me live right now, feel free to stick a little comment down below if you want, if you have any questions, stuff like that. And then um, I'll get into the chat box here in a little while. But uh, let me talk about the details of this inflation report. And this is actually pretty big. I mean, this is a big deal, okay? This is like not like, oh, inflation's just holding steady. No, wrong way. Uh, sorry, <laughs> we're going the wrong way here, okay? <laughs> not a good thing when it comes down to overall inflation. But when we look at the big, big picture here, this is actually um, playing into right into the hand of fixed income beneficiaries, okay? And again, I know that sounds super weird to say like, but wait, isn't this costing us more? Yeah, it is actually costing us more, but at the end of the day, it also means that your benefits are probably going up probably more than we actually anticipate, uh, quite a bit more. And remember, when we get raises to our benefits, permanent raises to our benefits based on inflation because of the colas, remember, those are permanent raises, okay? It's not like all of a sudden they come back and say, oh, remember that cola we gave you last year? Oh yeah, we're gonna take that away because inflation's lower now. No, that's not how it works, right? Uh, they're permanent raises to benefits. So anyway, again, good morning. Thanks for uh, joining me so bright and early. Uh, depends on where you're located around the country. It may be pretty early where you are. So anyway, really do appreciate this. All right, so anyway, let's talk through the report really quickly here, okay? Now, to be fair, yes, I'm filming this video uh, in mid-April. Actually, today is the 10th, 10th of April, okay? And um, this is the inflation report for the month of March. This is always how it works. I know March, March is, you know, a, a week and a half ago already, right? But my point is, they always come out the middle of the following month. So the inflation report comes out for the previous month. In this case, it was March's uh, inflation, okay? Here's what it came in at, okay? The expectations were um, for the headline number to come in at 3.4% on a year-over-year -year basis. It came in hot, 3.5%. I know it's only one tenth of one percent, but the point is, it still came in hotter than what they actually wanted. Not good, right? Now, on a month over month basis, again, headline, they wanted the number to come in at 0.3%. In other words, three tenths of one percent came in at 4.4%, uh, 4 tenths of one percent. That is on a month over month basis. So, my point is, Think of that from last, well, basically from February to March, inflation went up four tenths of 1% across the board, averaged out on everything, okay? My point is, that's nearly one half of 1% just on a month over month basis. That's a lot, that's like a big, big increase, right? Now, there's another reading as well. You might hear people talk about this, it's called CORE. Core means the removal of food and energy, okay? So it's like all inflation minus food and energy, okay? Now, this one was supposed to come in, their expectation was 3.7% on a year over year, and it came in 3.8% year over year. Again, hot, hot, not a good situation, okay? All right, so now we know that infl now about all this. Now, again, I can come back in a separate video if you'd like me to. I have not looked through all the details of the report um, as far as all the different categories, which by the way, there's a ton of categories, but you know like some of the, the common categories that I like to hit on and that I like to talk about in the videos, which is food and shelter and transportation and healthcare, things like this, utility prices. Those are a lot of ones that I like to look at very closely because that's what we're all spending our money on. I'm not sure about you, but on a monthly basis, where does the bulk of our money go? shelter as in rent it goes to um transportation right maybe driving around getting around whatever things like that utilities to turn the lights on to cool the house to heat the house whatever you're doing or your apartment or whatever wherever you live your housing dwelling right food we're, we're all buying food <laughs> for the most part right <laughs> um so again this is where we're spending money so this oh healthcare as well that's another really big one as well which by the way healthcare costs are nuts okay um, they're very expensive. I, we've received a couple of bills lately. I just like, huh, it's one of those things you like, you have to open, but it's like, oh, I don't even want to open this. It's like way, way, way too much. It's nuts, right? 
But anyway, these are the things that the bulk of us are spending our money on every single month. So when we see these things continue to increase every single month, month over month, more than what we're actually anticipating, it's not really a fun situation, right? Um, so anyway, long story short, I've said this before, okay? I'm going to say it again really quickly, and I probably will say it again in other videos. Okay, I'm not going to be like this the one only time I'm going to say this. But here's the thing. This is the inflation report for the month of March, okay? That's just March. We're only three months into the year so far based on inflation reports. Now, obviously, we're in mid-April right now. So inflation for April, we don't know what it is yet. But based on what the trend is, based on the trajectory, we can anticipate inflation is probably going up in April as well, right? So that's just the anticipation. But we won't know for another month until mid-May when we get the uh, when we get the uh, the April report out. But for the three inflation reports that we've received so far this year in 2024, inflation has moved up significantly. In fact, just at the beginning of the year, we were looking at a very, very minor raise to potential benefits for next year as far as the 2025 COLA goes. Okay, so back in January, we were looking at a raise to benefits a little over 1%. Let's just call it zero because that's practically what it is. Okay, 1%, you might as well just say zero because that's literally what it is, right? So anyway... Now, here we are sitting in a couple months later, okay, only three reports under our belt so far, and we're potentially looking at what I've been saying for a while now, which is the trajectory is clearly significantly higher, okay? Now, based on what we're seeing right now, and I said this a couple weeks ago in a separate video, based on the trajectory right now for the next, what, April, May, June, those three months, those are the three months before the, the very critical months that they start gathering data to determine how much the COLA will be for next year, okay? Remember, July, August, and September are the three months that they use to determine your COLA for the following year, okay? I know that we're still months out from that right now, but we have to look at the overall trend here, okay? And again, I want to say this as well. Inflation does not go from, say, 1% to 7% in one month. It if that happened, we would have major, <laughs> major problems. We'd have much bigger conversations to have than talking about this, okay? We would have major problems. That would be a huge issue. It's just not going to happen, okay? If we do, then um, we can have that conversation some other day. But let's just cross our fingers that that does not happen because that would be called hyperinflation. And basically, our money would be 100% worthless, even more than it already is today, right? But anyway, my point is, we continue to look at the trajectory. Let's extrapolate this information out over the next, I don't know, four, five, six, seven months, right? When we get into those three important months there, as we see this inflation ticking higher. Now, another thing I want to point out as well, what do we generally see in the summer? We see inflation go higher. Why? Well, people are out doing things. In the winter, a lot of us are like turning into bears, right? We just kind of like hang out at home and we're like, ah, whatever. It's cold outside. I don't want to do anything. But when summer rolls around, people are out traveling. They're going on road trips. They're buying things for the summer. They're grilling. They're buying more food. Again, typically we see an uptick in, um, in inflation in the summer because we're out buying things. We're out, you know, whatever, all kinds of reasons. We're, we're out doing things. We're not just hibernating at home all winter, you know, like we do then, okay? So anyway, if we extrapolate all this information out over the next, call it, like I said, six, seven months here, when we get into those very three important months where they start gathering inflation data to determine how much the coal is going to be, we're likely going to be sitting at, based on the current trajectory right now, again, no promises, I have no idea where it's going to be in three, four, five, six months, I have no idea, but based on the trajectory, based on the trend that we're seeing right now, we're likely going to be in the high 4% range. That's just what it's looking like right now, okay? Now again, that might be nuts, okay? For me to come out and say like, oh, we're going to be sitting at, you know, high 4% range, it seems weird to say that right now. But back two years ago, when we saw inflation top out in June of 9.1%, did anybody really think on a month over month basis that we'd be seeing increases of inflation of say 1% month over month? Well, we were. That was the reality. We were seeing that. It was At, at the time, it was like, no, that's not going to happen. No way. It, it can happen, right? It did. It did happen. Okay, we, we saw it. You heard me talk about it. I talked about it every single month. It was crazy to see those numbers ticking up so much. It was going fast, 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 fast. It was going up very fast. So long story short here, if we look at out into the future, call it again, out into the middle of the summer when we're all, you know, hanging out, turning into, you know, lobsters, getting all sunburnt and stuff. I mean, that's my plan anyway. <laughs> I enjoy the sun. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't recommend that, by the way. Uh, don't do that. Just I'll, I'll, I'll do it and I'll report back to you and let you know how it goes. But anyway, my point is when we're all, you know, in the middle of summer there, July, August, and September, we could be sitting at around that 5 percentage range. And again, I know that sounds weird, but realistically, when we look at the real numbers right now, we're only about a percent and a half away from that. 
that's not that far away considering how much it continues to go up on a month over month and um, looking out in the future. Does that kind of make sense? And this will all translate into your monthly benefit as in the colas for next year. Again, I know 2025 is a long time from now. I know. I'll see the comments on this video that say, why are you talking about a cola? That's six months or that's whatever. It's nine months away. I know. I know it is. But at the end of the day, guess what? It translates into your benefit. It's your money. So I'm not sure about you, but if you were at a job, okay, let's think of it, this analogy really quickly here, okay? Let's just say that you're at a job and you have a, an annual review, annual review coming up in three months. Are you thinking about the review and maybe a potential raise to your benefit or your put, uh, potential raise to your income, things like that? Are you thinking about that? Are you thinking, ah, forget about it. I don't care about this annual review. I don't care if I get a raise or not. That's like the only point of an annual review, right? You walk in and sit down with your manager and you're like, hey, manager, I hate you, right? Oh, the only thing I'm here for is to hear about my raise. That's all I care about, manager. I don't care what I did this year. I couldn't care less about next year. All I want to know is how much more money am I going to get? That's that's the only reason I showed up to this meeting, right? <laughs> am I speaking for me or am I speaking for all of us right now, right? <laughs> I think we could all probably agree to some uh, to some degree with that, right? Anyway, this one I want to share with you really quickly. And again, um, these inflation reports, uh, very interesting hot button stuff here. Now, one more thing I want to point out really quickly. So far, the market, if you're into the market, uh, wow, pretty cool volatility this morning, right? You, you like that stuff? I do. It's pretty exciting. Um, market's getting whacked right now. So anyway, um, by the way, the next Federal Reserve meeting is on May 1st. Okay, I'm going to go out right now and say right now, there's no chance that the Federal Reserve is going to cut rates on May 1st. Not a chance. No way, no way it is happening. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is pretty much a guarantee. It's not happening. Why? Um, inflation is way too high. The last job report that we got out um, past Friday, so what was that? The, uh, what was that? The 5th, Friday, uh, April 5th, a couple days ago, 303,000 jobs were created. Okay? It, uh, the unemployment rate went down a tenth of a percent, down to 3.8%. And now we have this hot inflation number. There's no chance that the Federal Reserve is going to come out and um, cut interest rates in a couple weeks on May 1st. No way. Not happening. In fact, they might even talk about, we might need to ratchet these rates up even more, okay? That may actually be a thing. Who knows? I highly doubt they're even going to cut um, cut rates in June either. Not happening. Why? And this is no way. It, it logically does not make any sense. Okay. All right. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to jump into the chat box again. If you're joining me live here, thanks for joining me. I really, really do appreciate this. Um, yeah. Leave a comment down below if you want. I'm going to jump into the chat box. Just a few minutes here. Uh, <laughs> my live streams lately have been getting way too long. I, I don't intend them to be that long. I apologize, but, um, I always want to do what I can for you in the chat box and things like that, but hopefully I'll spend only a few minutes here in the chat and then, um, we'll kind of wrap this up here. And again, I can come back in a future video, you know, later today or whatever the coming days and, um, follow this up more if you want me to. All right. So let's jump into the chat here. Hopefully, uh, we're live and things are going well. Okay. All right. So I hear myself when I turn the volume up. So let's go into the chat and see. Um, Lee, Leah, I think is the name you're saying who is getting a check from SSI, uh, SSI. I, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. No one's getting a check. Um, unless you should have gotten your SSI check about a week and a half ago. Um, but other than that, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Vanessa is saying we need a stimulus check now. Yeah, absolutely, right? <laughs> they get that. And again, inflation just means that this just means more money coming out of our pockets because prices are still going up, which again, is that a huge shock? I mean, seriously, do we do we not know this already? Yeah, obviously, we already know this. Prices have been going up for years. They continue to tell us how prices are going down. And I keep coming back every single month and saying, no, they're not. Look at the real prices out there. Look at your receipts. <laughs> it's not that hard to figure out. Uh, Joni says, good morning. Hey, Joni, good morning. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Jan uh, Angela Cole says, I don't care who you vote for, you're still not getting anything. Again, it, it, I don't want to turn this into some political thing. And again, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not taking sides no matter what. It's all based on the economy, 100% on the economy. doesn't matter who's there. They all have the same consensus. If the economy goes down, print money and push it out. Same thing. Doesn't matter who the party is in control. Literally doesn't matter. Think back to um, 2020, okay? We had a split 
um, Congress then. We had, everything was split then as well, just like we have now. And we got stimulus checks, a couple of them back in 2020. My point is, it's all about the economy 100% of the time. That's all I'm saying. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just simply saying that's just what it's about. Shell, uh, Shell Valestra, I think I'm saying your last name correctly. Possibly, I apologize. Hey, you said you sent an email about the soap. Yeah, um, based on that last live stream a couple days ago, um, I have Corey manager in the email, by the way, and she said she got a bunch of emails. In fact, um, <laughs> I saw her and she's like, did you mention the soap thing again? I was like, yeah, why? And she's like, I'm getting all these emails. So yeah, she forwarded the email on. Um, we've been in communication with the person and she is still fulfilling them. So yeah, um, as of, what was it, two days ago, I think Corey said we've had, we've fulfilled 163. So that means we have 100 and what is the math on that? 137 left to go. Um, so yeah, we have 300 available. Um, but yeah, anyway, she got your email. She forwarded it. Hopefully she's fulfilling the order now. So yeah, we're working on that. Uh, Gabby Rodriguez checking in. Nice to see you, Gabby. Thanks for being here. Mo3, yep. <laughs> Uh, James Casella is asking how long should it take to get the soap? Good question. They're being shipped from uh, Chicago. Not sure. Honestly, I, I, I have no idea transit time from Chicago all across the country, okay? It's kind of depend on, it also depends on when she fulfills the order as well. So how this whole system works, I'm just going to take a minute to talk about this really, really fast. I don't want to make this whole video about this, but um, the whole soap thing, okay? So what happens is we have you send the email to us. We take the email, we forward it to the person who has the Etsy store. She fulfills the order and then, you know, sends it out. So again, in total, transit time from the time that you send the email until it gets fulfilled, it could be a few days realistically. And then obviously there's the transit time of getting it delivered as well. So I don't know, a week, we can have something like that from the time that you maybe, you know, send the original email. Again, that might even be optimistic. It totally depends on how long it takes her to fulfill the order and um, get it out in the mail. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, Rosie Prince. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Joseph... Landry, good morning. Thanks for being here. Happy Wednesday. Nice to have you here. Uh, Michael is asking if we... Um, yeah, Michael's asking if we get a nice raise, how much will they take for insurance? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the Medicare Part B premium. That's a really good question. That is so hard to say. We have no indication to what they're going to do this year for the premium of next year. Remember, this year we got a 3.2% COLA to our benefits, but yet they raised the premium on Medicare Part B by just under uh, 6%, 5.92% is how much they raised it. In other words, went up $9.80 for the Medicare Part B premium, but yet they increased our benefits by 3.2%. Yeah, <laughs> figure that one out, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing at the situation like, yeah, funny how that works, right? Seems like the, the Medicare Part B premium always kind of is a little bit higher than the COLA. I don't know. Seems a little fishy. Yeah, Shell says, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Again, I wish I had a better answer for you as far as like deliveries and stuff like that. I just don't, okay? She fulfills the orders. Ashley from the Etsy store that I talked about, which again, she's awesome. She's been really nice to work with. Um, I just, I have no idea. She's fulfilling the orders. She's doing her best and she's doing a great job, which by the way, she did tell us the other day, like two days ago, so far she's mailed out 100, I think she said 125. So again, there's like 40, what is that? 40 or so on the docket that she hasn't even mailed yet because she's still, you know, working on it. It takes time to do that, right? <laughs> it's uh, funny. Yeah. yeah, Sabrina, good morning. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Just want to do what we can to help you out here. Uh, Kimberly Robertson says hello and thanks for all the information. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for being here, Kimberly. Uh, who's this person? Uh, A-N-A, I'm not catching what your last name is. Uh, you said, how can I send you an email? So there's a video that I put out about two weeks or so ago. It's titled, It's Time. Actually, you know what? Go back two days ago. There's a live stream that I did a couple days ago. It's titled Wednesday, 
I don't know, Wednesday, good for social security or something like that. Um, watch that video in the the top of the comment section there. I pinned the a comment for with a link uh, to that video. Otherwise, scroll back like two weeks ago. The video title is It's Time 300 Available, Time Sensitive. Watch that video. And I gave the instructions there on how to send the email and claim the soap and stuff like that. Yeah, Michael, yeah, you're welcome. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Michael. Kimberly, good morning with a bunch of sun faces. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this name. J-A-Y-Y-Y, I think. <laughs> you said Matt for office. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's um funny. I've actually, you know, thought about a variety of different things here. But yeah, um, I would certainly do things very different than some people. Okay, again, it's not a poke at anybody in particular. I'm just simply saying I would do things very differently. Um, I'm very unconventional the way that I do a lot of things. And um, I just think a lot of things are really messed up in a lot of ways that could certainly be fixed up for the better of everybody. And um, we don't need to make like a huge deal about it, right? It's just like, I don't know. The process that things go through are just nuts in my opinion sometimes, right? It's just like, why why do they waste so much time doing such silly things when it could be easily fixed and done and the people could be in a much better situation um, with way less effort and way less drama than what they currently have? Just doesn't make sense a lot of things that they do. Jason Dow says, hello, Matt. Hello, Jason. Thanks for being here. Kimberly loves my voice. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's. I think it's maybe the first time I've ever heard that. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, Clarissa. Clarissa. Sorry for some. Yeah, Clarissa um, Harrison. Clarissa Harrison. Uh, good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, Jaya. 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 Sorry, I'm super bad at pronouncing names, as as you can tell, right? That's the nice thing about having Corey with me. She's super good at, at pronouncing names. It's funny. Like Every time we wrap up a, a live stream, I'm like, how do you say those names so fast? I literally struggle to say like the first name of like half the names on here, right? Um, and she's like zips right on through names. I'm like, I have, I'm not good like that. She's very talented with names, and um, uh, she's good with that stuff, yeah. Uh, Lillian, Lillian says, I hope you're on, I'm, you hope that you're on the list again. If you sent the email, I hope, um, yeah, you should be getting that. Okay. Again, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get that stuff out, but, um, yeah, the person Ashley from the Etsy store is working on that and, uh, she's doing a great job. So yeah, we're getting those filled. Dolores. Yeah. Dolores says, thank you. She's very happy with all the information and uh, she likes the transparency and the honesty and the trust and things like that. Yeah, again, Dolores, I really appreciate that. Again, I've said this before and I want to say it again. You know what I mean? Here's the situation. I know sometimes I come back and say things that you may not want to hear, like we're not getting stimulus checks right now. I go, again, I know that's not very popular to say, but you know what? It's the truth. It's the honest truth, okay? I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke and be like, well, you're going to get a check tomorrow. Watch your account. It's not true. Why would I say that? That'd be bad, okay? That I would not do that, okay? My reputation and building trust with you is way more important than to sit here and tell you something that you want to hear. I wish, I wish there was a day that I could tell you that, and there probably will be at some point in the future. I have no idea when that day is going to be, but again, I just want to bring you the information, even if it is things that you may not want to hear sometimes. Again, it's um, very important to be transparent about that. Mother of Seven, good morning. I love the name. Thank you for being here. Yeah. William Glenn says, what's the deal with state stimulus checks? I don't know of a single state right now sending out stimulus checks. I'm just being real with you, okay? A couple of years ago, yeah, there were states. Even last year, I think there were a few states that sent out stimulus checks. This year, I don't know of a single state right now sending out stimulus checks. Not a single one right now. By the way, not to be not to be confused with tax refunds, okay? Some people out there are saying, oh, checks are arriving right now. They're talking about tax refunds. I'm sorry, that is not a stimulus check. That is called a refund, and it's a tax refund. Okay, <laughs> it's 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 far uh, it's a far cry from a uh, stimulus check. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, some people claim that that's a stimulus check. It's not. It's not. Definitely not. Uh, Roxas Justice, I think.
Uh, Roxin, Roxin, Justice. Sorry. Again, bad with names. I apologize. Thank you. Yeah, Shell, thank you. Yeah, you're so kind. I really appreciate that. Uh, Deborah Lewis says, good morning, and hope you have a blessed day. Thank you, Deborah. I really appreciate that. Uh, Jay is saying, love the effort, but SSA is not providing anything. You're right. I'm not talking about that. I never said that they are providing anything. So you are 100% correct. They are not given anything. And um, I never said that they were. Okay. Um, but I am talking about the inflation report and how this will likely translate into a pretty much uh, significantly higher raise to benefits than we were originally anticipating because the inflation report came out much, much higher today uh, than what they were anticipating. And um, it's moving higher again. So this will translate into, um, you know, higher benefits for people and uh, probably higher than we're anticipating as of right now. Yeah. Yeah. Arthur, Arthur says, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here, Arthur. Yeah. Thank you, Kimberly. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Yeah. William Glenn. Yeah. You're, uh, you're welcome. Uh, William says, thanks for all your honesty again. Yeah. I appreciate that, William. That's um, very important. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, ah, man, I'm so bad at this. Ah, I can't understand what this name says. Um, Imtonition? Something like that? I, just, how embarrassing. I, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I was really bad. I'm sorry about that. But this person is saying, good morning, Matt. I caught a live stream and they're thanking me for everything I'm doing. So yeah, you're welcome. Um, sorry, I can't catch the name, but yeah, you're very welcome. Uh, Audrey Sims, nice to see you. I saw you uh, bright and early this morning, commenting at about five o'clock this morning. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Mother of seven, yeah, you can. Just um, watch the video from a couple weeks ago. Again, the title is It's Time 300 Available, Time Sensitive. Watch that video. I give all the instructions there. It's um, first come, first serve. I'm not drawing names. It's literally first come, first serve. And if you can grab it there. Sylvia Herrera, I think is the last name. Uh, you say you got your SSI check on the first. Am I supposed to get something else uh, right now? No, not really. Okay, not right now. Nope. All right, so looks like I made it to the bottom of the chat uh, as of right now. I know I missed a lot there. I apologize. I'm just doing what I can to get through these. Um, I don't want this live stream to go forever, but let's leave it at that for now. If you want me to come back and elaborate on this further, of course, I can certainly do that for you. But um, yeah. Inflation report coming in super hot right now. Um, I'm excited to check out the market and see what's going on there. I love watching the market. And um, I'm also curious to see what happens here with all these talking heads coming out today saying, wow, our policies are doing this and that. And I'm going to say, hey, your policies are not working, right? <laughs> At the end of the day, the policies um, are uh, costing us more every single day, every single month. We all know this, right? No shocker. We know this. So... Um, let's leave it there for now. I'm going to wrap this up. Again, if you want me to come back later and do another live stream or talk about this more, make a dedicated video, whatever you want, just let me know down below in the chat box. Otherwise, in the top of the comment section, I can certainly do that for you. Um, but yeah, let's leave it at that for right now. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Otherwise, uh, share the video if you want and uh, stay tuned. I'll have another video for you later. There's a lot of things going on right now. And um, I have some pr surprising information I want to share with you later on today in another video. Yeah, some pretty big stuff. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to unplug the microphone. If you haven't uh, been here before with me in the live stream, when I unplug the microphone, the camera starts talking. It's a, actually a phone. Um, my camera is an iPhone. So anyway, um, it starts talking pretty loud into the mic. So you might want to click off now if you're still here. If you don't, that's totally fine too. But here we go. All right, so here we are. All right. Um, so like that. Are you sure you want to stop singing? Yep. All right. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thanks again for joining me. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you again later. Thanks for uh, joining me in the live stream. I'll see you again in the next video. See ya.